I'm going to start with one of those whilst everybody else is just preparing their questions. So. Good. The first question we have had is actually an anonymous question, and this is one really from the heart. The question says, how can I break free from not caring and take care of myself on a daily basis? This person suffers from deep depression and a, a degree of agoraphobia and does not want to leave the house. So they're really looking for guidance on how best to support themselves. Great. Great. Hold on one second here. I'm going to get a graphic to help me communicate with that. First of all, let's not think of it as breaking free because any time that we break something in time and space, time and space feels like it needs to correct it. So if we break a bad habit that has been around us for a while or break um, a situation that has been around us for a while, time and space try to reconvene it in its form. So let's look at this slide here. This area here at the bottom of the wave of time. Let me set up the tripod again. This area here is the area of feeling lost and depressed. And lost and depressed is simply that the outside world has more force has more pressure than the inside world. You are being impressed more than you are being expressed. So what we have here is this incredible space at the bottom of the wave in which you are being impressed by everything to the extent that it's such a strong impression that you would rather stay inside your controlled environment, which is your home, rather than go out into the world of the uncontrolled environment and have to deal with all of that information coming in on you. What has to be done in order to balance out that impression expression is that you have to provide yourself with a morning practice, a practice at the beginning of your day, whatever time that is when your day begins, the first thing we need to do after, you know, you've eliminated the waste and, 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 and brushed your teeth and done whatever you do first thing in the morning, then you sit down and you begin to do expressive, expressive Kriya asana, posture, mantra, so that you can build a internal momentum that is going to drive you forward and outward to balance the impression that is coming in on you. And what happens when you do that, your awareness begins to open in higher areas. At first, you're probably going to feel anger because anger is the beginning of the heat that's required to build that momentum upward. And after that anger is felt, you know, you're going to feel certain kinds of, of guilt for the anger and all of that. That's just normal. That's just absolutely normal. Stay with it. Stay with it. And then move on up through this into what is called determination because determination is called the wise use of anger. It's the fire of anger concentrated through a focus point, just like the exploding gasoline in a car is not blowing the car up, it's focused through a concentration of the engine block. And that's why the engine block is made out of cast iron because it's powerfully hard and can withhold and can sustain that impact of those explosions that are taking place inside of it. 
So the explosions that are taking place inside of you to raise you out of that lost, depressed condition are now being contained within your determination. And apply your determination to something. It doesn't have to be the be-all, end-all that is going to save your life or save the world. It just has to be something. Let me get through this day, one day at a time, one step at a time. These are the smallest components of that. And once you start to feel that determination, and that determination is consistent, all of a sudden you're going to get to a place where you're beginning to feel certainty. And the byproduct of certainty becomes boredom, which is what the Buddha called the stillness. What Guru Nanak called total moderation. This absolute stillness is so crazy boring. There are no extremes. There are no active polarities at the moment. Most people, what will do is look for some excitement when they're in that boredom and never get into the state of balance, but go immediately from the boredom whoosh, to the excitement, which r jumps into uh, chaos, which jumps into crisis, which jumps into all of these things leading right back down to being lost and depressed. And that's the cycle. So the key is that once you pull yourself out and don't force yourself outside while you're pulling yourself out, but force yourself to do that morning practice that's going to start to build your internal pressure to match the external pressure. And it'll also build your electromagnetic field, which is the eighth chakra called the aura. And once you start to build that, then all of a sudden that can start working as a shield so that you can learn to shield yourself from the excessive information that is trying to jump through you from the outside world. Excellent question. Every one of us goes through this. Don't feel alone. We all participate in this angle of reality. <laughs>